you say about the way your team responded after Sunday's loss? Yeah, I thought we came out with the right mindset. Uh, you know, I, I thought our our uh, intensity was right in the in the in the previous game on uh, Sunday against them, but we didn't finish it. And uh, today we were a lot better. Yeah, I thought OG gave us, you know, a great lift for the first time back after a layoff. The energy and you know, just the the effort plays and uh, the movement, the shooting uh, added a lot to the team. And I thought Josh Hart was, you know, incredible. Just that his defense, his rebounding, his scoring, his playmaking, everything, just all around play. Jalen was Jalen, you know, Dante gave us good minutes and, you know, I thought Precious was really good for us as well. Isaiah was protecting the rim, did a great job for us. Did Josh get on a break tonight, 39 minutes? And, uh, yeah, he's, he's upset about his usage. Was he giving grief about not getting 20 rebounds? Uh, I don't know. He's, uh, you know, sometimes they, He's going to give me grief about something, so goes in one ear, out the other. So, but he he was terrific, you know. Just uh, you know, he plays to win, and that's what I love about him. And so, he's not a guy that plays for stats. And even though the, his stats were, you know, great, unbelievable, um, just uh, but he he plays to win, and that's that's what makes him so valuable to us. Do nights like this happen without? Um, you know, I think he, like I said, he's, he's a fierce competitor and that's, yeah, I love that about him. And, uh, like, I think sometimes you try to take, you know, the positives from your, whatever the positives could be like, and I think, uh, an expanded role for him, expanded role for Dante, uh, for precious Isaiah, and those guys have, been, have responded extremely well. And I think that that's, you know, that. That, that speaks to their development, their commitment, um, but it's prioritizing the team. And you know, we knew that we had a, a deep team to start the season. And one of the things we talked about right from the start was everyone's willingness to sacrifice and put the team first. So uh, you know, everyone wants to play, but not, not everyone can play. And then you have injuries, and then the next thing you know, you're in there and. Now you, your your job is to make sure you 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 stay ready when you're not in the rotation, and then when you are, or if your your role changes and now you're playing an expanded role, to be able to handle that. And I think our guys have shown that all year. And you think about your starting front line is out, then you know Isaiah is the backup center, and he he was out, and now he's on minutes restriction, and uh, you know Jalen has has gone through some stuff. So all those guys do stepping up. And really playing well, uh, I think is huge for us. Well, I think you know the shooting piece is huge. Uh, so, you know, any anytime you put two on the ball, that means on the backside someone's open. And so, if you're putting two on the ball and you're getting a three on the backside, or you maybe you get an offensive rebound. Like we had several possessions where we had them in rotation, and we made great effort. Whether it was Isaiah or it was Josh getting the offensive rebound and getting a second and third crack at it, I think those extra possessions are huge for us. Coach, the last time you had, you had the Knicks held teams to under 80 points three times straight it was November 2000. Rick Brunson was on the team at that point in time. What does it take to get an effort like this out of these guys? Obviously a Brunson. <laughs> no, I, it, you know, and the thing is, it's uh, in it, 20 years ago, that really was the style of play, you know, like in, uh, so to be able to do it in today's game is, you know, it's a credit to the team and you have to be tied together and you have to be working together and, and you have to be able to count on each other. And I think, 
that's the way our team is playing, and we had to use that most of the year. When you're down players, like you're not replacing Julius, you're not replacing Jalen uh, and OG. Those guys, but we can do it with our team. We can do it with our team defense. We can do it with our team rebounding. We can do it with, by taking care of the ball. That puts you in a position to win, regardless who you have, who you're playing, where where you're playing. So. If we hang on to those three things, some nights we don't shoot it as well as others. I think that holds true for every team in the league. But you, you'll you be in position to win if you do those the, those three things. How, how valuable is it, how valuable is it defensively with OG? Like, you guys played Philly in January. You spent a max year for alignment. Game one, you played in the Tobias. How valuable is it to have a piece like that where just positionally it doesn't Yeah, I think it's huge. And you, you could say the same thing about Josh. And that that versatility to have those two guys, and then uh, Dante is a really good competitor as well. Um, and I, you know, obviously the rim protection that Isaiah has given us, but I think Precious is blocking a lot of shots for us right now. And I mean, we know that what Mitch brings to the team, and uh, uh, the physicality that Julius brings to the team. So we get we we like the the makeup of our team. And Deuce is another guy that he, you know, you're not sacrificing. You can play Deuce with Jalen, and and he can guard, guard ones, twos, threes. You can do a lot of switching with those guys. What, what, what is it that signature starts um, OG at the four? Did I start him at the four? Did I start him at the three? I don't know. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You know, it, you know, and that's the, and, and I say that tongue in cheek because like that, that's the beauty of Josh and, and OG, is that both can play. That's all. Th they can play all three wing positions. They can play two, three, and four, and they're interchangeable. And sometimes you can go with the matchup. Like, okay, we can take advantage of this this way, right? And and I like that. I like that versatility. And we, we thought that was one of the big reasons why we wanted OG was what he would bring to the team. And uh, so I think it's it's a huge plus for us. And I think uh, in, in, it's hard to say what positions guy, guys play today because it's usually a point guard, three wings, and a center. And then you really go more by who they defend, right? And in this case, it's th th those guys can defend, in OG's case, one through five. You can put OG on the center. And it, Well, yeah, it, and I said, like, we the thing that, that probably hurt us, uh, obviously losing Mitch was huge because of what he was doing at the beginning, and then to lose three guys. But we were hanging in there because of the way Isaiah was playing. Losing him was, now that, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. And then Jalen, we lost him, and then he's on minutes restriction. So, like, you got to manage all that. And... But and that's what I love about our team. Like our team is like whatever we have to do, we'll find, we'll, we'll figure it out, you know. And so um, you navigate all those things, and you try to get better each day. And you're counting on the people who maybe weren't in the rotation initially. Now they're they're in there, and they're playing, and and you need them. Um, just probably a little more awareness, a lot stronger with the ball. We knew they were aggressive and coming after the ball. Uh, they were number one in steals, so that's the the way they they play, and they're very aggressive and good at it. And the turnovers were were probably, obviously we had 21, I think, uh, for 17 points. Uh, but the thing that we did do, we also caused them. We we forced 15. But we had 19 points off those turnovers, so as long as like we wanted to be a plus, and for us when we're active and we can get into the open floor, those easy baskets are huge for us. But I thought guys were a lot stronger with the ball, right? They were owning their space a lot better, and when you do that, your turnovers will go down, and then maybe a little less one-on-one, -on -one and more movement and cutting. You know, I thought that was important for us. All right, thanks, yep, thanks. thanks.